Go for it. Do you want to introduce yourself? I'm Naima Dom, and today we are going to be talking about puzzles. Right, would you like to start with your side? Oh, you showed my one. Okay, so on this side we have Ethiopia. So all of the puzzles, by and large, are 100 pieces, and they are aimed at children five years and above. But um, it depends on each individual child. So some children younger than five can do this puzzle, um, and some children older than five might find it challenging. But um, the idea is to sit with a parent uh, or a carer um, or uh, an, an adult and do the puzzles together and learn about each country and have fun. Can I sit? Of course, sorry, did I talk for too long? Nope, just about right. Now I've got Africa and my dad, he just did Ethiopia. This is the first puzzle, and it's six plus, and it's 100 pieces. You could also get a 32 piece, but it's not in stores, so it'll be after, it'll be in stores soon. Right, would you like to have your card? Of course, thank you very much. Um, so now we've got Ghana, so I'm from Ghana, uh, and so is my daughter. Um, and yeah, so we were very happy, very excited to have the Ghana version. Um, we had to change it slightly because Ghana went from 10 to 18 regions. So this is the updated map um, of Ghana and it highlights some of the, um, you know, famous people, cultural artifacts related to Ghana. And also with each of the country puzzles, um, there's some country information at the back. So you basically, you know, learn about the, the size, the population, the currency um, used in that country, the language is spoken in that country. Um, so that's also uh, very useful. Um, and then, yeah, then you've got a map of, of the whole country. Um, and again, it should be enjoyable for everybody to play. And then we've got South Africa. And I've got a friend from school who's from South Africa, and she's really nice. That's good. And it's a really, and I. I haven't tried this puzzle yet, but I know it's going to be really fun. And on the back, we have the coats of arms, the languages, and the size of the country. Right, would you like to have your go? Okay, so this is my last puzzle in the collection, um, and it's Nigeria. So um, it's the biggest country in Africa in terms of population, um, and it's the biggest in terms of um, economy. Um, and so this highlights some of the items in Nigeria. So you've got Anthony Joshua, who's the uh, uh, boxing champion. Then you've got Fela Kute, people like Shade. Um, and also it's got Chinamanda Adichide, who we did the other day in terms of the Guess Who uh, uh, product. So if you don't know what we mean, go to Guess Who Testing Part 2. Thank you very much. Um, and then again, it's got details about uh, the country of Nigeria. And we've got Jamaica. You can also get Jamaica in a 32 piece, but this is the 100 piece. We've got Bob Marley and Bob Marley's wife and a lot of other people, Bolt. And on the back, got the same thing as South Africa. Got it the wrong way around. Oh. <laughs> that's okay. Shut up. South Africa? No, that's the way. Oh, oh, did you have it the right way? My fault. <laughs> uh, we've got the crates of arm and stuff. Okay. Um, and that's it. So if we look inside the puzzle itself, if we open up the one, so this uh, Jamaica one. Um, so this is the 32 piece. So this isn't actually available yet, um, but Jamaica has been very, very popular. So um, we might do a 32 piece. But on the back, you've got some uh, some additional um, decoration. So this is basically um, African print fabric, Ankara, as it's called in Nigeria. Um, so it's not meant to be done as a puzzle, but you could. Um, and it's just meant to be a bit of fun um, and to you know keep children entertained um, and screen-free time, really. Family, good quality family time together. And this is... The, so let's see the different sizes. Good, good idea. You could at least fit a few of these in one. Mm -hmm. 
So that's the different sizes. So you could get a hundred piece if you have a kid from the age of six plus, or if you have um, a kid from the age of three under, you could get the the, the bigger one. That makes sense. Thank you. Cool. Anything Can else? You you... Of course. Well, what is your favorite puzzle? Uh, what is my favorite puzzle? I don't really tend to have a favorite one. I think whichever one's the newest one is my favorite because um, I always get excited seeing a new puzzle and um, seeing how people will react to it, especially people from that country because it's quite exciting to yeah, see your country on, on a puzzle if you haven't had it before. I think my favorite might be London or Kenya. Okay, why is that? I like London because I live in London mm -hmm. and I like Kenya. Hmm, I just like the way it looks. How it's like like this way, like the Africans, they're okay. sideways. What, what what do you call that one is that way? Portrait. Uh-huh. And what's the other way? Landscape. Very good. And I think Lena and Aston will be excited to see that puzzle. I think so. Who are Lena and Aston? My cousins. Oh, okay. And why would they be excited? Because they're from Kenya. Oh, okay, that's true. Yeah, I think so too. Hopefully they'll be happy and they'll like it. Yeah, they'll. Re I know they'll really like it. I think so too. I don't think I know. You know. <laughs> very good. Cool. That's very good. What, what do you like doing when you're doing the puzzles? Which one do I like doing? No, when you're doing the puzzles, what, what do you like doing? Do you do anything when you, how do you do the puzzles? Hmm. Hmm. Do you do them on a table, on a floor? Do you listen to music or do you do it quietly? I do, sometimes I do it on the, so if it's on like a wooden floor instead of a carpet, or like a nice smooth carpet, then I'll do it on the carpet. But if it's like a rough carpet, like the one in the living room, then no, I wouldn't. I'd do it on the table. Okay, fair enough. And do you like and to do it with music? Okay. Do you like to do it by yourself, or do you want like mum or dad helping, or somebody else helping? Hmm. It's fun when you do it together because it gets done really quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. How do you like doing it? Um, I don't know. I mean, I I prefer to help you do the puzzle and um, work with you to, to get the puzzles done. So yeah, and yeah, just have a chat while we're doing it really. But then again, you know how to do the puzzles back to front. Uh, I wouldn't say that, people assume that, but that's not necessarily the case. But um, yeah, I, I don't tend to look at the, the picture very much. I tend to just, yeah. Go with the flow. Yeah, kind of figure it out as I go. What's the puzzle that you know really well um i don't know any of them like really well again as people assume i'll know them well but i'm always doing different puzzles or making new ones and so yeah I'm, i don't know it off by heart but i, I quite like the, the garden one i guess that's probably the one i've done the most maybe Just, yeah. i probably think that i can do this one back to front okay. even if it's a hundred piece i can do it really well that's, that's, that's the one i can do the best Okay, very good. Cool. Any other questions? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Yeah, of course. Why is the Africa really different to every other one? Um, that was the first one. A really good question, actually. That was the first one I started with. And so I, as I... I've done more, I've learned more, and I think I've made the puzzles a lot better and a lot more improved. So it says six plus for the Africa one, but actually it should have already been five plus. And so that's what I've done for the other puzzles. Also on the Africa one, there's no kind of country information. I guess that's one because it's Africa, a whole exactly, Africa's a continent, not a country, but it should still be good to have some information, maybe just listing all the countries in Africa and the population, which it's something I'm doing for the Caribbean puzzle. Um, so as I do more puzzles, as I learn, as I make them improve them better, then yeah, they, they start to change a bit. But they're all similar in some ways, but hopefully they all get better as, as I learn more and I do There's more. one thing they all have in common. Well, most of them, I assume. They, most of them have a t-shirt to go with it. 
and maybe you want to guess a guess you to go with the country yeah so maybe we do another video another day um when we talk about the t-shirts and maybe the posters as well but yeah so um e each puzzle comes with uh, a t-shirt that children can color in um and again it's meant to be screen free time um, children can really express their creativity and, and colour in their t-shirts how, how they want. Um, and again, it allows families to bond um, and it just provides you know, quality time that people can spend together and, and learn, but also have fun at the same time. And also don't go over their data plan. <laughs> yeah, don't go over their data. What do you know about data plans? I'll tell you after the video. Yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> do you have a mobile phone contract then, do you? No, okay. but my mum does. But your mum does. Does she, go over, do you. does she go over her data plan? No? Okay, fair enough. Good stuff. And, I think and, this is coming to the end. Perfect. Well, again, thank you very much for your time. Don't, I'm not trying <laughs> it, no. No tickles today. A proper handshake. There you go. Thank you for your time again. And uh, thank you for watching and tuning in to us. And hopefully... You find these fun and enjoyable, and um, yeah, hopefully we'll do more. And our aim is to get to Hamleys. Our aim is to get to Hamleys. Well, I've said more Sains okay. Sainsbury's. Yeah. Sainsbury's? Yeah, but yeah, there's, I'll tell you about the economics of it all later, maybe. Economics? <laughs> yeah, one for another video, maybe. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.